it's beer o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. Today we have a Turkish lager and some Indian snacks to show you. Why am I putting these together? Well, why not? <laughs> um, I picked up this can of Efez Draft, described as a fresh draft beer taste, which is fine by me. 5% um, ABV, half litre can. It was in B&M. B&M stores, the larger stores. Some of the B&Ms don't sell alcohol, you know. I went to one on um, Newport Road in Cardiff and they didn't, they didn't sell alcohol, which I'm quite surprised at. Um, but I last reviewed this, I last tasted this when I was actually in Turkey and it was a pretty good beer, to be honest. It was a solid, kind of dependable, just reliable lager. Uh, the snacks... I picked these up in Asda. I always go down the world with the world food aisle, have a look, see what's there. And they had this um, spicy papri gathia. And it's all sorts of kind of gram flour, salt, chili powder. So it's gram flour. But it looks great, doesn't it? It looks absolutely great. Loads of little bits of spicy things in there. Vibrant Foods Company from Leicester, uh, UK. So yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to getting in, into this. The beer was about one pound fifty. The snacks were just over a pound in Asda. So without further ado, let's get this foil lid open. Now, whenever when I was in Turkey. Um, everything was from from Efez was in the bottle. I didn't see anything from a can, so perhaps the brewery have invested in a canning plant out there in Turkey. Turkey's largest brewery. I like the ridges on the can. Almost reminds me of Sapporo, that funny kind of ridged can. Feels very strong. Feels like holding a mini barrel, actually, which I suppose that's what they're going for. Okay. So here is FS Draft. It looks quite nice, actually, doesn't it? Nice golden coloured, amber coloured beer good levels of carbonation rolling up the bottom of the glass there we've got a two finger white head a very well behaved lager looks really good let's get the aroma mm, yeah i mean nice kind of malt reminds me of a german pilsner actually Yeah, lovely wafer malt coming through, but then some spicy kind of lemon pepperiness on the back end. It smells quite good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's not bad. It's not bad. First taste set me back, surprised me a little bit. I was expecting something perhaps a little bit cleaner, a little bit more crispy. I was, by, let me explain. By getting the aroma of the beer, I was almost convinced I was going to be drinking a, a German Pilsner. But it's not the case. It's more of a... It's much more malty, malty and maybe some maize in there. A lot less 
in the way of bitterness. I was expecting a lot more bitterness in the beer. I was expecting a little bit more of a kind of a lemon in there, a little bit more of a spicy pepperiness. Not so much in the taste. You get it in the aroma, not so much in the taste. The beer is nicely carbonated. It's if you're a fan of more kind of malt forward sweet lagers, then this lager would definitely be for you. If you're looking for more of a pilsner style beer, something a little bit more kind of crispy, dry, with some more hot bitterness then maybe this beer may not be for you. This is this all comes down to your drinking habits, to be honest with you. If you're if you're a more kind of slightly sweeter lager drinker, then this beer is definitely for you. But kind of more bitter Pilsner style beer, if you're a fan of that, then it again it probably may not be for you. It's I mean even even for somebody like me that likes bitterness in their beer, it's not. I, I'm not going to stand here and say the beer is undrinkable. It is a very very drinkable beer. Um, it just surprised me a little bit. That's all by the 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 noticeable lack of bitterness in in this lager. Hmm. Okay, but I mean, nice lacing on the glass. The beer, I said, it's well behaved, looks good as I roll it round in the glass, looks really kind of quite nice. Uh, ingredients, I'm interested by this, water, malted barley, hop, hops and yeast. So there's no, there's no maize, as I said, there's no maize, there's no corn in the beer. It's a 100% it's a malt barley beer, which is, which is pretty cool, actually. Right. Time for these co fresh spicy paprigathia crisps snacks. I'll go with something a little bit light first because what I mean by light is there's two style of crisp here, there's one. Ooh. There's one that's really kind of spiced up and there's there's others that are, don't have the same level of spice on there. Let's let's get in. So they what did I say they were? They were grand flower snacks. Oh. Oh. Oh, really flowery and doughy. Not a fan of them. Not a fan of them at all. You can feel the flour in your mouth. You can feel it breaking down. It's like almost like a spoonful of flour. Let's get a really spicy one then. Let's see if we can kind of mix things up. It might be better with a bit of spice. Mmm. They're almost fishy. <laughs> oh. No. No, no, no. Mm, no. Oh. <clears throat> Almost a weird fish taste in there. Maybe it's the lentils. I think it's the lentils and the split peas and stuff. But it tastes slightly fishy to me. 
the spice level, <coughs> the spice level on that spicy one with all the flavour on it, nice lovely burn on the back. But I don't like the consistency, I don't like that flowery taste, and I don't like the taste of the peas that come, it's like mushy peas, the taste of mushy peas, but initially with the spice I was like, oh it's almost fishy, almost like a fish taste coming through. Very rare, very very rare on the channel do I not like a snack. Normally I like everything that comes my way. That's probably the first snack I've not liked on the whole channel. That's a shame. Um, for me, spicy paprigathia. It's not for me, it might be for you. Three out of 10, three out of 10. For the FS Lager, glad to have a mouthful to wash the taste of that snack away. I'm going to be rating the FS Lager on my own personal style of what I like to drink. So if I might give it a rating, you may be nodding your head, you might be shaking your head in disagreement, but that's only because I, I prefer pill, more kind of bitter Pilsner style beers and less of a kind of a sweet, just a malty lager if you like. So I'm going to give the lager the yeah, FS a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. It's nice that it's a 100% malt lager. I hope you like this video. It's a shame I didn't like the snacks, but you can't like everything in life. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.